Well, the big question coming from the three pivotal trials of xenomaline trospium is, will we get a cognitive boost from, and what we hypothesize is predominantly the M1 mechanism. It's possible also that M4 may give us some cognitive benefits, but we know that a, a quarter of patients living with schizophrenia have extremely low expression of their M1 receptors, more than 75% below norm. And what turned out was when they did analyses of cognitive outcomes, they showed that for a subgroup with really low baseline functioning, meaning one standard deviation or even more so one and a half standard deviations below norms, they actually did achieve benefit from xenomaline trospium. And it really confirms something again that we may have suspected that people with low M1 expression may benefit from an M1 agonist. The jury's still out about negative symptoms. 